Jacob, how was the how was the bye week for you? Yeah, it was good. You know, we coming off a great win. You know, getting our bodies right, getting ready to for the next week. It's all that matters. So uh, we just worked on our rehab, got on the field, got some plays in. Good week. Did you get to relax at all? You could call it relax. You know, there's always the the feeling of you know wanting to get better and things like that. But you know, we had the weekend to you know, get some time to ourselves and kind of recharge so we can come out here and be good this week. What did it mean to you to be named a captain for a game like Texas? Yeah, it meant a lot to me, you know, especially because of the stuff I've been through recently and uh, just battling back and just kind of solidify the things that I believed in and hard work always pays off. And, you know, just seeing that and then also playing well and, and in such a game like that was it was very rewarding. Jacob, so. I haven't had a chance to talk to you since that game. You got that sack late um, mm -hmm. and the, the drive that Texas scored the field goal. Can you walk through that play? Because after the game, Sarkeesian talked about how that really kind of changed yeah. their yes, mentality of that drive. Yes, ma'am. Honestly, you know, they were uh, tempo and fast. We're getting the calls in and a simple play call that we've you know we practiced probably a thousand times and, you know as soon as the center went away the guard came down i knew i was able to get up field recognize it was passed and he was sitting right there so you know one thing i learned being an older player is you make those routine plays in practice it always comes in during the game don't matter if it's a big play or not it's, it's rewarding to see your work pay off so. did, did it what sort of went through your mind in those moments i mean i'm sure you were just reacting to yes, what you were seeing but to see a play that you had practiced so much, like what goes through your mind in that moment? To be honest, when, when plays like that happen, it's kind of like a a blank slate. Like you've done it so many times. Mm -hmm. Like when I hit him, I was like, okay, like I've done this before. And so you kind of see the celebration. I put the one up because you know I expect that of myself to make the plays that come to me. Mm -hmm. So it was it was fun. You mentioned it. You tweeted about it. Can you take us through what summer was like for you? Yeah, I can. <laughs> so um, got out with spring ball. And I was working on my own, my uh, legs started hurting. And you know, being a football player, I just thought mm, it was a little knot, something like that, going to the training room, um, cool. And I was do actually doing an internship with Chick-fil-A at the time. So we had flown around and things like that. Everything was fine, I just had a little pain in my leg. And um, once that was over, I flew back to Notre Dame to see one of my friends graduate. And on that plane ride, I started losing breath, things like that. and coughing up blood and that's essentially when it started. That that day when I landed, I went to the hospital at 3 a.m. by myself, because my, you know, my friends are graduating, so they dropped me off. Um, you know, Doc said I shouldn't be alive. He looked at me straight up and said, I don't know how you're breathing. Um, he didn't, he said, I'll probably never play football again. And, you know, I'm just sitting there by myself in that dark room, just thinking like, wow, you know, I'm coming here to see some old friends and do, try to do the right thing. And, you know, something got taken away from me, but, Got through that, everything worked out, and you know, summer wise, first month and a half, I'm just out here, you know, encouraging the guys, watching, trying to stay positive, you know, working out at the apartment gym by myself because I'm, you know, not supposed to be, but you know, keeping the lungs up and things like that. Um, so each week it just kind of got more and more and more, and then camp came around, uh, you know, I also couldn't do camp just because I was on the back end of that, and that was hard, you know, seeing the guys out there balling, and I just couldn't, you know, just physically couldn't do it, whether I wanted to or not, so that was rough. But, you know, that Tuesday before the first game, I was cleared. And something that allowed me to be able to play so fast was, you know, staying locked in, staying engaged, taking notes, doing everything I would do like I was practicing. And so that just allowed me to do where I'm at today. I'm thankful that I went through it. It allowed me to see the things that I needed to work on and things that, you know, I'm grateful for. So. Everything works out. What was your diagnosis? I had culinary embolisms, um, a big one in my right, multiple in my left, and then the clot in my leg is where it came from. It traveled into my lungs on the plane. So if you wouldn't have got on the plane, it, but it's still going to affect you, right, at some yeah, point? Yeah, so okay. backtrack a little bit. I was having shorter breath before the plane ride. The plane ride is when I started coughing up the blood. So that's, that's what, when I knew something was wrong. So they, they think if you're not to the hospital quick enough, one of those blood clots could have, I mean, like that's Yeah, that's they said, you know, plane, plane, plane rides and blood clots in lungs is like a big no-no. Yeah. Um, and I was one decision away of either going to a graduation party or going to the hospital. And I, I decided to go to the hospital. Thank God I did. Was, was there any hesitation and you trying to come back and play football again? You heard what the doctor said about that. The one thing I know is I'm going to trust the doctors that are around me. Um, I especially had a great one at Notre Dame while I was up there. He did a great job. Um, and the ones here when I got back, they monitored me like crazy. They, they were very cautious, if anything. So when he did tell me I was able to go, I was, I was fine with it. What do you do uh, to, to caretake right now? 
mean, like medication? Um, honestly, or I'm, like nothing. That, really? I'm completely back to normal. I did uh, blood thinners for three months. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it worked out really well, got cleared up, and by the time I was playing, I was like a regular person again. So I'm thankful I don't have to take no aspirin, none of that, so it's good. Were you worried about that first uh, yeah. first flight? Yeah, yeah. I was, uh, it was a little, little nerve-wracking, but you know, I, I you know keep the socks on and stuff just to be safe, so. But I'm doing much better, so. How does that, how does an experience like that change how you view this thing yeah. called football? Yeah, it changes everything, you know, I think, College football players sometimes might take for granted what they get with all the glim and the glam and you know things like that. But just having the game almost taken away from you in a sense that you can't control it makes you appreciate you know the hard practices, the hard lives, the days where you're here for 12 hours a day just because you can't do it. And if you are here doing it, you're not a part of it. So it was really made me appreciate the little things, especially you know during that time of the summer when I couldn't you know get in there with the guys and grind it out. So. That's what I would say. Do you feel like you're a different guy when you hit the field in games even? Does that change how you how you are as a player? I wouldn't say it changed who I am as a player. It made me take a moment a little bit more each game to really appreciate where I'm at. But it also allowed me to know I can, you know, go as hard as I possibly can each play. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, that rarely could be your last play. Like, I, I did not know. It didn't cross my mind that I get a blood clot at 20 three years old or anything like that. That didn't even occur to me. That's why I thought it was a little short of breath. And I thought I had to work out. I was actually running with uh, Drake. When I first started, I was running with Drake Stoops out here conditioning. And I couldn't breathe. And I was like, oh, I'm out of shape. Go I'm out of shape. So that caused you know, some other problems because I went so hard through a blood clot. But at the end of the day, it just, just shows that you know, no matter what happens, like, it's all going to work towards the good. Is there any, was there any thought of like, what caused it or what could cause another one? or? Um, there was definitely some thoughts about it. Honestly, they weren't too sure, mm -hmm. but it's not a family history. So, okay. um, yeah, I mean, it was cleared up with the docs and then that was the end of that. So, wow. yeah. Jacob, back to football, you had a huge sack against Texas to kind of stop their last drive or they could have milked the clock out. Talk yes, about that play, what you saw, I mean, what, yes, you know, what was called, all that stuff. Yeah, so they were going tempo really fast and, you know, we got a simple play call that we've run probably a hundred times throughout camp practice. And when the center went away, you know, I saw an opportunity to spike the gap, just like we practiced over and over again. So when that happened, um, I can felt he was a little soft, felt it was pass. Quinn sitting right there, I knew I could make the play. So to me, to me, at the time, it felt routine, you know. And then you go back and look at it, you're like, oh, you, know, you might have might have helped out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so, um, but I always value, you know, those plays in practice because nobody thinks about that. Like nobody was expecting to get quote unquote a sack during that drive because they were rolling and rolling but I know as a defense like we're going tempo all the time like that's what we practice and they might get a play or two but we always finish in a way that allows us to get off the field so 